we're back here at the world's ugliest dog competition on Animal Planet. And in just a few minutes, the mixed breeds will take the stage. But first, come on over with me to meet another one of our Ring of Champions dogs. I am sitting here with Rascal, a former world's ugliest dog, with his owner, Dane. And this is an exciting time for you. You don't even have to compete through the first round. And that's one thing that's really exciting is he actually is in the ring of champions so he gets to have that title and, and sit back and, and relax until the end then get really stressed what brings you back every year to this contest this is actually my 31st year in competing in ugly dog contests and coming out here is always so much fun to see the people you know to bring all the animals out and see them all together you know i wouldn't miss it well we thank you for being here and good luck to rascal now let's take a look at the glorious life of rascal and dane If Rascal looks familiar, perhaps it's because Rascal is something of a celebrity. Rascal doesn't have an agent, but he probably should. That's right. Back in 2002, this little star won the title of World's Ugliest Dog. And it's been a wild ride ever since. Owning Rascal, I've got called to go visit Jenny McCarthy and E.T.'s Insider out of Times Square. Now, everywhere he goes, everybody wants to meet Rascal. We're in the city of Sunnyvale today. I'm gonna to meet the mayor for a mayoral proclamation dedication to Rascal for all the work that he's done in the community. He gets these invitations to go places that I never could go. There oh, that's go. a great one. Luckily, he needs a driver, so he takes me along with him. Wow, what an honor. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. Come on, ready? Come on, come on, Rascal. Come on. Rascal comes from an impressive lineage of ugly dogs. There's a whole dynasty going back to his great-grandfather, Chi-Chi, and he actually won the ugly dog contest so many times that he's in the Guinness Book of World Records for winning the most contests. And then each descendant in the line, his wife, Lady Pink, and then her daughter, Mai Tai, each won, you know, at least three times, won the world championship. And then there was Rascal who carried on and is still carrying on. We are so excited to have you here today. We have a group of Girl Scouts that are earning a special badge. They're here for a workshop, and they have no idea they're going to meet Rascal. <laughs> Hi, ladies. What do you think? This is Rascal. Would you ladies ever have a dog like this? The first thing I said is, how many of you would like to own a dog like Rascal? Majority of them are like, no, no. Does he feel like your own skin, kind of? A little warmer, though, huh? Kind of like a hot water bottle. Within a couple minutes of just seeing Rascal and they all pet him, I think that they realize, you know, it's the beauty inside and not what's on the outside. I think Rascal is cute. It doesn't matter what's on the outside. It matters what's on the inside. He's teaching them you don't have to look a certain way, you know, to be liked or loved. It's kind of what's inside and, you know, um, it kind of chokes me up. but. Uh, so now that you've pet Rascal, maybe you can show hands. How many of you would, would adopt a, a dog like Rascal now? It's really been a great experience, you know, having Rascal, and I'm just fortunate he's taken me along with him. I got a call from a friend of mine, and he said this firehouse wanted to have Rascal come over for dinner and, and to meet him. Oh, Rascal. You guys remember that conversation we were having the other night about famous people coming to the firehouse? Sure. You are not going to believe who's here. Yeah. <laughs> that is one ugly dog. He's ready for dinner. <laughs> Going to meet the firemen was a, a highlight of the day for Rascal and myself. They do a lot of good for the community. This is a surprise. <laughs> it was pretty exciting to go over there and get a tour of the firehouse, get to meet the guys. So as you can see, firefighters wear a variety of protective equipment, and I think it's important that Rascal have his official fire coat. Oh, wonderful. Wow. Now you're official, Rascal. How about that? Good, Good luck, luck, Rascal! Stay ugly, buddy. 